A week after I arrived in the city, I spent a day at the wet market, negotiating my way down the slippery floors and taking pictures. I was soon lost in the brilliant rainbow of fresh seafood, laid out in ice, suspended in hooks, swimming in plastic pails and low metal drums, whose names brought back memories of my childhood. One stall sign captured my attention and got my taste buds going. Fresh Serena! I smiled to myself, surprised at how many years had passed since I last tasted mermaid. When I was a child growing up in the south, my grandfather would take me out mermaid fishing. The boat of my memory was cramped and seemed ungainly in the water, but none of that mattered since I loved being out at sea with him. They think it's unlucky, but it does not matter to me that you're a girl. Your world God has given us, and that's all the luck we are here. At a precise position, my grandfather would drop the makeshift anchor overboard and organize the fishing lights. Papa, I think you should choose and attach the bark now. Hmm. This. I'll choose this gold scapular embossed the image of the Virgin Mary. Then he slowly lowered the filament into the water. Be ready at any time. The mermaids with catch range from two and a half to three feet in length. Oh, here's one. We got the mermaid Lala. One was usually enough for our large family. But I remember during the times of fiesta, how the sea would be dotted by little boats similar to my grandfather's. Hi miss, do you want some serena? Oh. <laughs> um, hmm. I'll get this precious looking one. Ah, oh, by the way, is there a place that could go look for me? Of course, ma'am. I'll do it for you for 100 pesos only. Huh? Aren't you over? I'll give you a handful of sea snails for free. Fine! Uh, oh. oh, you got me there. <laughs> okay, make it delicious, please. 